dress is the one I'm looking forward to the most because I have one on order. Donuts! <laughs> Many cameras, I don't know which one to look at. That one. That one. Right, How's it going? <laughs> what's up? Uh, long. What up? How are you, man? Dude, the Monterey not got the memo. It's in summertime. It's, <laughs> All it's hours honestly, short. I'm kind of excited because it's been really hot the past Is this two months. Oh, he's got the Mondi Walkers. Let's go. Oh, he got the updated that. ones. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, what's up, bro? You don't understand. When you come my age, <laughs> after all these years of playing soccer, you need to catch up to you. Those are great shoes, actually. Headed to Koenigsegg House, Houston lost us, but uh, you know, like a girlfriend, I, I got us tracking. <laughs> All right, guys, we're about to turn the cameras off because it's a private event. Saw so the CC850 manual hypercar, 1358 horsepower, 1358 kilograms. 50 made. 50 made, super sick car. Talked to Koenigsegg, told him a story about uh, back in the days when I was. 10 years old in Sweden and I saw a documentary on Koenigsegg. It was the very first documentary that was ever made on Koenigsegg. First time like anyone had ever talked about Koenigsegg. First time I heard about Koenigsegg. I told him that story that I heard it on uh, you know, Channel 3 in Sweden and he's like, he was, he was kind of blown away by that. He's like, dude, no, no one is- He said that was the first time someone's ever told him Yeah, that. first time someone's ever told him that story. He's like, I can't- Meaning he's gonna that. remember admin forever. Yeah, so that's kind of cool, right? Hit this shit. And it's so slippery. <laughs> it's misty and slippery. IP headers and exhaust. Shout out to IP, my sponsors. Woo woo! Oh, oh never mind. Don't hit this shit, please. <laughs> hit this shit! Hit this shit! Okay, I can't see this is super dangerous. Guys, the mess is incredible. Oh my goodness. We got a look at today the Bugatti, the GT3 RS. It's the only car I'm excited to see, surprisingly. It's like all these like multi million dollar cars and hyper cars and all, but I just love Porsche. The Pony State we saw last night. What else is there that's being unveiled? The Urus, but no one cares. I'm just here to do like dumb shit, really good shit, and that's all I care about. I don't care about car shows. I've never been a car show type of guy. Like, it's like very boring to me. I like to drive and do stupid things, which car show people don't like. So uh, I don't get along with people like Quill. I like the, the red-headed stepchild that no one likes. <laughs> no one likes me, Mario! Welcome to Quail 2022. There's a few cars I want to look at. First of all, the GT3 RS. We got the new Bugatti that's supposed to be cool. And then uh, the Gordon Murray T50, Huayra R, and uh, the Koenigsegg that we talked about briefly yesterday. We got to see the car at the Koenigsegg house, but you know, we couldn't film it because they were unveiling it today. So we'll show you guys those five cars. The GT3 RS is the one I'm looking forward to the most because I have one on order. Mine is Jet Green Metallic. And fun fact, the reason I bought my GT3 in manual was to get on uh, 
thank our sponsor for today's video, Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club that delivers top shelf products from under the radar brands. Every month they send their members cool new items such as barware, outdoor equipment, and home goods. All this is based on a quiz that's done when you sign up, which is free by the way. 90% of your guys' products that you're sent are from US based companies. Why not support local businesses? But the best part of all, let's get to opening them. We have the amber and oak moss diffuser, the two adult nighttime beverages. Also, 10 minute crosswords to keep your brain sharp. The next items in our cast kit is this charred American oak mini barrel that you can use to age your favorite spirits. Last but not least, the big one. For those days that you're running a little bit late to work, cold brew coffee maker. If you're looking for a little splash of excitement, you have your bitter cube flavor enhancer. So this combination of items would be great for a night out with your friends and then making sure you get to work on time and efficiently the day after. All you're gonna wanna do is go to the link in the description. You're gonna go ahead and type in Mondi20 for your promo code to get 20% off your first order. Now, if you don't see the link in the description, but you definitely will, you're gonna go to bespokepost.com forward slash Mondi20 and order your first bespoke post box. The good side of the dealer, Right, so I'm trading that car in for the GT3 RS. So I'm first in line to get the car, but I got manual because I'm manual swapping the GT3 RS, putting the PDK from the GT3 RS on my GT3 and giving that to the dealer. So I'm gonna have the world's only six speed GT3 RS. Chiquit. So I hate being the, the, you know, the YouTuber that's filming at Quill. I think it's so embarrassing in front of all these people, right? It's like very tasteless and classless. So for you guys, I need some liquid courage. Liquid courage. Liquid courage. Are you, Cheers, are you doubling up? Yeah. I got a brain freeze. That was really good. All right, so first up, we have the Zonda R over here, and then we're gonna look at the Huayra R. The Zonda R is just like, it's the coolest car in the world. 647 at the rig, which is funny because the new GT3 the GT3 RS is actually faster than this. Poirot R over here, we have two of them. What do you think? All right, so the GT3 RS, you guys already know the specs about it. We're not gonna talk about it. The only cool thing I really, really like and I wanna show you guys is the DRS button. As a F1 fan, I'm like geeking out over that. That's one of the things I'm looking forward to the most about the car. The car is actually slower than the previous GT3 RS because of the massive wing it has. Top speed is 177, but uh, with the DRS button, it takes it up to like 190. The old one did uh, 196, I believe. So you press the DRS button, drag reduction system. And this flap opens up, which neutralizes the wing. Air just flows instead of creating drag. So no trunk space with this car. To the side of me, we have a real supercar, the T50. Really cool car. This is a car I would want. There is one car though I really, really want to see. So a six car, the McLaren. This is a V10 track only spec. Finally, a good looking McLaren. This is quite possibly the coolest car here, without a doubt. I'll give, I'll give a nod to this over the GT3 RS. Let's uh, go to Koenigsegg now. Ah, it's a Koenigsegg. Yeah. That's the end of Quill for us. Let's go have fun because I don't like looking at car cars. I like driving. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> I like to drive the cars instead of looking at them. John found a spot over here to do donuts. No, no, I. What is this? Is this a tunnel I see? It's gonna be the first tunnel run with the new exhaust and a burnout.
Damon, DD, called me about two weeks ago and uh, he apologized for everything that happened three years ago at Monterey. And uh, when, when a guy uh, you know reaches out to you like that, it takes a lot of courage. Whatever happened, water under the bridge, of course, uh, I'm gonna accept his apology. And uh, we're gonna move on and uh, become friends again. So he's at Ocean Ave right now, funny enough, where I got arrested. And uh, he just uh, texted me, said, hey, we're at Ocean Ave, come over. So we're headed there. We got Michael in the back seat. Whoever said a GT3 is a two-seater, they're lying to you. So we're gonna go through the canyons and we're gonna toss Michael left and right. You ready for this, Michael? I'm coming, man. You're coming? Okay. <laughs> Mike, you want a little fishtail action? Hey, I'm down. Hey. Let's go! back to Ocean Ave with the dirty car, you know? I'm not gonna make my debut at Ocean Ave with the dirty car. <laughs> Got traction control off, just in case, because you never know. What I would love to do is go to the same spot that I did the donut at, because everyone's gonna expect for me to do it again, but I just like park it there, and I rev it, maybe. And then I just can't get over just my guy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Edmund, looks like you're, uh... You know what's funny? This is all because of us. Can I get through? Donuts! Oh shit. No, no, don't, 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 don't say that, don't say that. I can't hear it! I'm doing a donut! I can't hear it! Thanks, how are you? Good, thank you. I'm out. Uh, Quick little update, we went to ha uh, went to have dinner, we came back and now everything is shut down over here, so we gotta leave. Troy got pulled over, huh? Yeah, Troy got pulled over. my old editor has kind of moved up in life you know he's uh, in an Apollo IE right now with the uh, hyper NFT guys which is pretty dope <laughs> Alright guys what's going on here we got a mark back I was telling everyone machine. how you uh, upgraded in life a bit uh, well, you used to drive around in a Mercy, but now you're in like a uh, Apollo IE. The car we were geeking out look, over. Look, now you're in a Bugatti. The first time I ever sat in Apollo was with you. Uh, Netherlands. That, that was honestly like the best time I ever had while YouTubing. Look, that, that nothing will you. compare to that trip yeah. ever. How you been? Good. I've been so, good. Just working. Mark's working with the Hyper NFT guys, and they're uh, launching their own YouTube channel. See, it's basically like a mix of like jackass automotive world lifestyle, just like. Oh, you know, Sure with hyper cars. With yeah. hyper cars. Yeah. You guys always ask me, aren't you afraid of cops? How do you not get your license taken away? And those, these geniuses took this message over here. They work nationwide, by the way, so just hit them up. Uh, their Instagram's gonna be like right here. 